Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today your doggy has a cyst under their skin, on their skin, and you want to get rid of it. How do I, as a veterinarian, get rid of cysts on the skin? So cystic structures, cysts, you can have sebaceous cysts, which are really goopy and gross and kind of kind of cheesy on the inside. You can have fluid-filled cysts, which are the most common ones, cysts that just keep producing fluid. And when you palpate or fill your dog's skin, you're going to feel this little lump that kind of moves around a little bit. And if a veterinarian pokes it, it's going to drain out either a thick debris or a really clear or gray solution. What a veterinarian is going to do, what I'm going to do as a veterinarian, I, if I want to fix a cyst, is I'm going to surgically remove it. Yes, you can totally drain it and it will fill back up again. I promise you, it will fill back up again. Sometimes, in rare cases, you can lance it a little bit. And if you can get the sack out of there, because remember guys, a cyst is a sack in the skin. And this sack of small cells, thin, this thin sack, keeps producing fluid, which keeps the cyst filled and present. So if you just drain it, it will keep refilling, right? Right. So as a veterinarian, what I like to do is I like to give a sedative, just a light sedative, and then I'll do a lidocaine block around the area so it's all numb. And then we'll shave it and prep it. And literally, depending on how big it is, either I'll do a punch biopsy or I'll do a little wedge incision around it. And I'll scoop that whole little cyst out of the body. And then I have beautiful, healthy tissue. A couple stitches and that doggy or kitty is all closed up and it looks great. And then guys, I will then take that, set, that cyst, that sack, and I will cut it open and I will look at it and I will make sure that I got all of it out. And if it looks suspicious, like cancer or I have a worry, I will send it off to a board certified pathologist and they'll diagnose it for me. So don't get over, don't get stressed out over it. In most cases, guys, we do not need general anesthesia. We don't, we don't, we do not need a big, big production. Most of the time I tell people, yeah, let's just set you up, come back in really quickly. Or if I'm free, I'll do it right then and there. A little sedation cut it off we're all done all fixed up don't perseverate on stuff guys get stuff fixed get stuff diagnosed and make your life easier guys i hope this was crazy helpful i hope you're all having a great day hope your doggy your kitty hope you are happy and healthy you guys take care bye